All right, here we go. Gordon Ryan from Brunswick BJJ takes on Jason Flynn from the mat. I think he's only 20. Uh, and he's definitely has the least amount of experience on the big stage, but he's uh, definitely an up and comer. And he's got a great frame for jujitsu. Gordon Ryan trying to finish yeah, it. Jason yeah. Flynn is done. In regulation. He banks himself some money. Should he win it all? Money in the bank for Gordon Ryan. He submits Jason Flynn. The pick is here. Since April of 2016, almost a year and a half, Gordon Ryan has completely dominated the sub only game. It is done. Gordon Ryan is the EBI absolute champion. As a middleweight title, now the welterweight king. Gordon. The King Ryan! Guys, he was a last minute replacement. And his only knock was he hasn't had that same domination in the point game. Well, guess what? 2017 ADCC just passed in Finland, and Gordon Ryan came back with a gold medal, submitting BJJ legends like Keenan Cornelius and Homolo Barao. Everyone's always talking about, well, if you're a Nogi grappler, you should win ADCC. So, you know, the ADCC was the big, was the big thing that we went in and tried to, tried to win. Nothing really changes too much. I'm always just stuck in a blue basement at Enzo's, trying to get better at jiu-jitsu. I don't really get to enjoy it yet. I don't really plan to enjoy it until, you know, I'm fighting MMA and then eventually retire. But, you know, I'm just trying to get better at jiu-jitsu for now. And now I have to come back and defend my EBI absolute belt. Are here. All right, so I'm just going to check who's here. Gordon. Oh. What's up, Gordon. Hey, Dan. Doing? Barovic. Doing good? I think he's on yeah. Daniel O'Brien. Here. Okay, so if, if someone's, if you're ramming your hand and your wrist up someone's nose or you're uh, trying to keep them from breathing and covering keep their mouth. Clean. I'm going to say keep it clean. Stop it, please. Hold on. Ban the, the closing of the mouth. Exactly what? Yeah, ban it. It's banned. It's banned. Ban. 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 What I mean, but cervical locks and neck cranks are still legal, right? Yes. Yeah. Neck cranks are legal. Okay. You could choke someone around their face. Okay. You can. You can't use your teeth to defend a choke. That's fine. They lose their teeth, that's the decision. Yes. Yes. So you can't cover the mouth? No, it's banned. We just banned it. <laughs> that's a this terrible ban. This is why I love you guys. Rules meeting. It's a terrible It's a live it's rules meeting. It's, it's, rules it's, meeting. Rules it's living the whole time. Any, any, okay? Try your best. And thank you again, once again. All you guys, everyone that's here, man, you guys really, really wanted to be been here. I didn't have to twist anybody's goddamn arm. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. It's like asking jujitsu guys to base jump or something. Like, it's... but anyways, you guys like it, and I love that, and I appreciate that. Hopefully, we can keep this going and keep growing, and um, take the show all over the place. You know, this is just the beginning. Uh, we, you know, you can't just stay in LA all the time. We want to travel. We just gotta figure out uh, the right financial path to make it all happen. Fun. That's about it. Thank you very much, and uh, let's have a great show. They changed the rules. It's the best. It's a living, it's a living rules meeting. It's like, what, wait, wait, are we doing this or are we not doing this? You know, I feel like, like the EBI stage is my home. Every time I compete on it, I'm just getting more and more comfortable. Uh, and now I'm back to defend. Uh, I'm super confident, super comfortable, and uh, just ready to go. You know, everyone's always talking about, well, if you're a Nogi grappler, you should win ADCC. But now, like, it doesn't really matter what people say. I'm an ADCC champion. Win something other than a Naga, and then come talk to me. TV and UFC Fight Pass, and please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. You are about to witness the best submission only event in combat sports. It's the one, the only, the Eddie Bravo Invitational.
Cool, 90 seconds left. There it is! Nicely done by the champ. With the submission. That's a wrap. Casey Hellenbrook. Oh, wow. Gentlemen, we have a winner at just 12 seconds into regulation. Let's hear it for Craig Jones. They don't get paid by the hour. They get paid by the submission. Craig Jones banks one right there. Guard. Oh, get him out of here quickly. There it is, Craig Jones! Gets it done in less than 45 seconds. There it is, Gordon the King of Ryan. That arm is cooked and he's done. Casey Hellenberg. Kenny Johnson getting on top. Trying to go for an arm bar. Got it. Tried to roll through, unable to do so. Aaron Tex Johnson. Final is upon us. Gordon Ryan stands over Craig Jones. Jones has made quick work of the field, and it would be something if he could get past Gordon Ryan. Yep, same entry he's been using in the earlier matches. Let's see how much mileage he can get out of it this time. I mean, obviously for his energy level, it's got to be great. Confidence, even even bigger. I mean, you you need to be perfect if you're going to get past Gordon Ryan, and Craig Jones has been just that. As far as lactic acid buildup, his muscles and whatnot. This is a rematch as well. These two met at EBI 11 to kick this year off, and we finished the year with uh, the two back on the mat. And oh, Jones going for it. I mean, Jones in on that right leg of Gordon Ryan, really selling out for it, trying to make something happen. But Ryan wise to it, he to get his leg free. Crowd here in Austin. Appreciate all the action. I mean, if this goes into the 90 seconds, I mean, that's when cardio really may pay dividends for Craig Jones. But right now, he's be defensive. Kimura. Gordon has Kimura up top, slipped into it. Oh, Jones Gordon. able to get free. Nice. Gordon Ryan, all of his overtime matches have ended in submission.
know, it's been amazing. Um, just going in and, and crushing everything that I want to in uh, Inogi, Inogi Jiu Jitsu. Um, and now I have to start from the bottom and do it all again in Gi Jiu Jitsu. And then after that, it's just MMA and Gi training. So I got to start from the bottom in Gi, got to win a Gi World Championship. I start again from the bottom in MMA and, and win an MMA uh, title in whatever organization I'm going to fight for. It's really fascinating how, in a few short years, Gordon Ryan has gone from this unknown jiu-jitsu competitor from New Jersey to quite possibly the best grappler on the planet today. And on top of that, with what started as potentially just a one-time event about four years ago with the Eddie Bravo Invitational, we've seen it explode into one of the best events and tournaments the grappling world has ever seen. Eddie Bravo said he was going to get this thing on television. Not long after that, he signed a partnership with UFC Fight Pass. It's also changed tactics on the mat as well. We've witnessed a rise of a leg lock game that has changed the way that people grapple. Dynasties have been established, streaks broken, and from this event, new rule sets evolved. We've also seen EBI champions going from the BJJ mat and transitioning to mixed martial arts cages all over the world. And of course, we've seen new stars develop and you can guarantee they will go on to lead the next generation of submission grapplers. Where the sport will go next, that's always up for debate. But from Sambo to Pancration, Judo to Jiu Jitsu, you can guarantee that we'll be tuned in to witness the evolution of the ground.